hello and welcome to my craft studio and my youtube channel and today i'm very very excited because we will create a simple card but with uh, layers and coloring a lot of new cards coming up so i invite you to like and subscribe my youtube channel to don't miss any of my tutorials okay going back to my card this is the newest wildest retreat collection and i just love this close to nature uh, views uh, mountains trees and uh, i want to create five by seven uh, card so i chopped just a piece from the collection measure six and three quarter by four and three quarter and then i just place this uh, two stitched rectangles on the center and i run it through my die cutting machine so as a result i get um, three pieces uh, i want to create and uh, you know continuous few so it look like uh, some of the parts are dimensional and uh, that's why i decide to uh, die cut using the same connected frame uh four more pieces from white cardstock and i finished the edges with uh, distress ink just to um more you know march this frame with uh, my background so before we even start assembling all elements together and I guide you how I color them and assemble all the elements to create this card, I just want to tell you that this collection is really clever. As always, Heartfelt Creation provide papers, stamps and dies which are matching. So it's only up to you how you want to complicate the things, uh, of course, creatively. Um, okay, about the coloring. So this is the first die cut I used. I colored uh, the bushes and the trees uh, and the grass with peel paint and the trees with Mount Lawn. And I will cut it with my scissors. Actually, I can do it right now. Um, let me check. No. So I basically only left the pine trees. Yeah. So this is uh, this is this element, and then I stamp the stand with the canoe house and the tree, and I just very quickly color it with peel paint and mound lawn with dobbers and a vintage photo on the canoe and the house, and I line the. Uh, image I die cut the top layer with dye this dye and this layer I just fuzzy cut and I add the additional layer of white cardstock on the back and then I using the pencil I marked where I supposed to cut and I just use my scissors to uh, cut it to match my frame so um, this layer I will glue directly to the background. This layer will be with um, some 3D foam. And then I stamp the same stand and with this die you actually have this element uh, die cut it separately. So they are actually um, connected. I think the tree separately but um, house, stones and the canoe are connected but they're teeny tiny pieces so you just can um, cut it through uh, with your scissors and it's done so i also add the additional layer of white cardstock and this house is 
first colored with vintage photo, full background, and then at the chimney with black suit, and then uh, the walls with brush card carduroy. <laughs> Sorry if I uh, read it wrong. And then I will add eight mahogany on, on the roof. So it will be additional layer. And canoe. So I color the stones with a black suit and uh, grass with mound lawn and a bit of vintage photo on the edges just to. Um, just to avoid, you know, um, seeing white spot when we finish the assembling. And the final layer is vintage photo, then brush, cardinal, ver, H mahogany, and then even here I add a barn door because I thought I need more dimensional look, so that's why I did it. So it'll be next layer here and I forgot that I uh, use also the tree so the tree will uh, so the tree I colored with mound lawn uh, and and pine needles and for the center I use vintage photo so so basically we cover the coloring yay okay so now we could uh, probably finish this card but i really want you to see how i assemble the elements if you are the beginner of course you have a lot of questions so i hope this uh, assembling process will help you and guide you how to create the dimensional card uh, like this. So I will add the music and the assembling process will took about one and a half minute and I will be right back and uh, we'll talk about uh, how to finish this card. Okay, I'm back and I make few <laughs> changes. Um, this is kind of card which, you know, changed everything. I have some plans uh, how, to, how I want this card to look like, but I almost changed everything. So I add the eagle here and I color the eagle with distress ink and Actually, I add the additional layer of white cardstock on the back. Um, and this eagle is glued directly to my frame and it's stamped with archival black. I, I All my stamping is with archival uh, black and I coloring with distress inks. So uh, I also add these flower clusters and I use the same greens I used um, to color the grass and the trees. So a uh, mound lawn and the peel paint and using the blender marker, I color the flowers with barn door and scattered straw. But actually I first add the scattered straw and then I just lightly add some uh, barn door uh, touches and I color these uh, long leaves here so uh, this is uh, on with of course layer of white cardstock on the back and I add 3d foam uh, to even have it on the front of my canoe so 
as you can see it's it's very dimensional and I especially leave this corner of my card to add the sentiment so I feel relaxed it's your special day it's like perfect for guy for for uh, male female um, because we all uh, love to relax on the uh, close to the nature so why not what else i add the craft card stock uh, on the back of the sentiment and then i uh, glue uh, them together to my frame using uh, 3d foam and i actually decide to add more flowers so i stamp these flowers with monarch orange archival ink and i color it a bit with buttercup and i probably come back and add more ink when i die cut all these flowers and if you are asking what the set i used i used flora fashionista uh, cling stamp set and coordinating flora, floral fashionista uh, dies and I use this middle size flowers and these small ones and as you can see I, I love this set because you can create uh, a lot of flowers very quickly and also because I'm super lazy this month and I uh, simply use uh, Hartford Creation mold. So we have the mold which match this stamp set. And if you don't know, maybe I will uh, say it one more time <laughs> for you. You can stack up to three layers of uh, die-cutted flowers in every single spot. Okay, so I already uh, die cut my flowers. It's a bunch of flowers, really. <laughs> and uh, because I will have these petals standing up, uh, I colored the back of the flower uh, using a buttercup archival ink. And um, I come back for every flower with monarch orange. Uh, and I add just lightly the touch so uh, you will not have uh, like a border around. Um, I love to create flowers uh, which, mm, which are not the same. So um, right now I put a few flowers which are uh, with uh, the orange um, ink on the edges but I have also flowers uh, without uh, without inking so without this monarch orange and I think I will create also a few more uh, which will be more um, orange so with the with this uh, ink and I actually uh, put one layer um, this is the bottom this is the top bottom is higher and uh, I want to have uh, petals up so that's why I uh, placed uh, the flowers with the stamped image on the top and it's super quick to just add the ink and you can also use this one but i rather to put like middle one in big one but to be honest i used this mold once and i ran it through only with small flowers and it was okay so if you have any empty spot you can uh, add uh, smaller flowers and you will have different um, result uh, different shaping uh, which you can find more interesting for you so you can experiment what is uh, good for you and actually I prepare my uh, water so I spritz it and I will add um, one more or two more layers uh, each time I will spritz it with uh, water and I will run it through my die cutting machine 
okay so last part of my card tutorial so i want to just show you this beautiful flowers shape with mold and i add actually bright pearl small this is the steams uh, from Hartford creation and i use this one i think this is like between yellow and uh, orange and as i told you before i make always a variation of colors in my uh, flower sets so i have some more orange flowers more yellow flowers and i make some composition so i add even more dimension here um with uh, and adding this uh, larger flowers so once again these flowers make from two layers a middle flower from the set and small flower from the set and uh, because i think this cluster of flowers just needs some more uh, texture and dimension and i also add two small flowers in the back to have more uh, dimensional look of course you can put even more flowers on the back here so you can have like um, a flower uh, potch on your card and i only add uh, three flowers um, as accents uh, on both sides of my uh, sentiment and this is two larger flowers so once again a medium flower with small flower and single small flower so uh, i will now uh, make glittering with you and i use this dry clear uh, glue which is fantastic i usually glitter my flowers uh, when they are unassembled to the card but today i will make it on my card so it's uh, a lot of method how you can add the glitter and today i will add the glitter only on the edges This is the clear uh, glitter we have uh, in the store. This is my favorite one. Very sparkly. Okay, so you can see the glitter here and I will add more glitter in the flowers here and I will show you the final uh, photos of uh, of the card on the end uh, one thing I forget to mention I add the wing of Stella on the lake here clear wing of Stella and actually it's perfect it gives you this uh, shine when sun is rise and you know this clear like in the uh, mountains absolutely perfect for this cut so you uh, you will see on the photos the bit of shine on the lake uh, so that's it for today i hope you like it and you give it a try uh, this new um, wildness retreat collection and if you are new to my channel please uh, like and subscribe my channel and um, also click this notification button to get notification every time i make the video and uh, if you have any question i'm always here to to help uh, i hope to see you soon bye